Comedy Lab from Orlando. This is Jenny McIntyre. Yeah! This is Chris Dinger. make a uh, shout out to Improv Against Humanity. Thank you so much for having me in the show at the 7 o'clock spot. That was a lot of fun. Yay! Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, SAC Comedy Lab. Um, we just have one little announcement that I'd like to make. Um, Chris? Oh. Uh, oh, so if any of you guys are interested in uh, improv, uh, we have, uh, nope. you're bringing in Kevin McDonald, is this what you're talking about? Yes. Uh, so uh, Kevin McDonald from Kids in the Hall is, uh, is flying in to do a two-day intensive, a uh, 14-hour intensive at SAC. Um, it's like the, the improv to sketch process. So if you're interested in that, check out sac.com. More details. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. November 23rd and the 24th. It's a Saturday and a Sunday. Great. So, uh, thank you for asking that very important question. Oh, uh, it's your website so I can get more information. SAC.com. That's SAK.com. That's SAK.com. You don't want to go there. All right. So, uh, that being said, uh, we're just going to do uh, a series of improvisations for you. Uh, let's get a suggestion for this to begin. Uh, yes, uh, what is something you either know a lot about or have always wanted to know a lot about? Sex. Sex. Horses. horses. Purple. Oh, horses. Water. I, heard, I heard horses. Yeah. yeah. Horses. horses. These are big ones. These are really big horses. I, uh, I'm ready. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, got, I got the bucket here. I'm ready. <laughs> but this is a um, this is a horse ranch. We raise very big thoroughbred horses here. Yeah. yeah. They need to be milked. What are you a clown <laughs> or something? We have horses. We need. What? Who the hell sent you? All staff. <laughs> <laughs> They said I'm not qualified for a lot. Horse ranch. There you go, sweetheart. Have a good time. Uh, I've never worked on a horse ranch before. No, you'll be fine. Uh, you'll be great. Uh, I, I know, only know I only got a few Get out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to mess this up. If I mess this up, then I don't have a job and I can't support the family. Then come back and see me. You mean I can, <laughs> <laughs> you mean I can go and try and make a mistake and then come back and get another job? Yes, I got tons of stuff. I love your dress. Oh, thanks. I no, love seriously, you. I really do. It's sequenced, it's colorful, it's bright. It says, I'm ready for the world and I'm ready to give people jobs. <laughs> I like your socks. <laughs> Stop it. No, oh, they make a statement. Yeah, I don't have two socks that match. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I, I insisted when I got the job here that I wanted to be your apprentice in your department because all the other ladies, they just, they don't have the sparkle in you. They don't have the shine in their eyes. They don't, they don't smile at me. Betsy? <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel so comfortable here. We're good. I'm glad. I'm glad you got this job. I could get no other job except a job at a job that gives jobs to other people. <laughs> I'm so thankful for that. I, I possess no job related skills, and I you took me in. No, I I no, Just no. try me. Try me. I'm the best. You can learn. What do I do? What do you want Just tell me your skills. Anything. Anything you can do. Oh, mismatch talks. Done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, compliments. Ooh, good one. Yeah. What else? I'm not even saying anything and you're coming up with them. I know. Oh, no. kiss ass. There's <laughs> Wow. There you go. If you don't need an assistant, okay. oh get out of my office. Go. Please. Oh, Just now. Yeah. <laughs> Here, 
I need you to dictate this. I've been away at war for three years. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get this job through the agency? Yeah. I got this company through the agency. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the... Uh, normally, I think, I think I'm supposed to be reading this, and you're supposed to be typing this. <laughs> I'm just going to be helpful. You know, I'll do whatever. I'm very really kind of like go with the flow kind of girl. You know? <laughs> wow, I want to learn that skill set. <laughs> My socks don't even match. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even looking at your socks. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Let's play around with this. Why not? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I saw my friend's head explode in front of my eyes. The terrors of war haunt me even in my dreams. I close my eyes but cannot find respite from the hell that is my waking hours. Oh, okay, that doesn't sound like the quarterly report. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thanks so much for taking me out. You are my best friend and you're here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. I know. This is my last night of freedom. And oh you're my god. Hey, another oh. shot from my girlfriend! She's getting this. She's out of the shot. Come on, bro. Another shot from my girlfriend. Please, take your shot. Give it to me. Give me the drink. Another shot. Thank you. This is okay. No. Oh my god. You're not going to be able to do this when you're behind bars. Okay. Oh my yeah. god, oh my god, oh my god. I hope that your life is like Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies, no, this is, I don't want to go. I need you to help smuggle me out of the country or something. I don't want to do this. Oh, um, you need another shot. Another shot. Come on. Give me another shot. She didn't even finish this one yet. I didn't. Hurry up. She's about to finish. Give me a shot. Here you go. Oh, they're all out. <laughs> How can we break you into the world of freedom? <laughs> I am doomed. I am doomed. You can't do it. I know you can't do it. No, Marcia, she can do it. She's got a good attitude. You have a good attitude, Barbara. Oh, stop it. You don't look pretty when you cry. <laughs> Sorry. How are you going to get laid tonight if you're crying? I don't know. <laughs> Last night of freedom, you have to get laid. You have to get laid. That's the goal here. We're getting you laid tonight. Whether you want it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean that to sound rapey. I just meant. <laughs> Is that an adjective, Rapey? I don't know. I'm not a grammar. Or is that an adverb? <laughs> I'm not Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm here for you. I'm here, we're here for you. I'm Thank here you. for you too. Thank you. And if you if you don't want to have sex with anyone, it's our job to convince you that you should because <laughs> oh. ten years is a long time. Right. And you probably only serve like eighty percent of the sentence, but that's eight, true. eight years or so. Mm. One <laughs> night, one night could could fill at least at least five months of a ten year sentence. <laughs> it's true. Make it very, very good case. Okay then. We have to find you a man. Or someone with really little standards. <laughs> hey, I didn't mean to make that sound worse than Rick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tender will need this drink back to you. <laughs> Best friend, that's a big step from not really kind of wanting you here. So we can't pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it just now. She threw me under the bus. It started all that. I mean, 
she was your friend like five seconds ago, and she was <laughs> this apeshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it goes back, way back. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jimmy, how's it going? Good. Hey Jimmy, <laughs> I'm in the mood for raping this. <laughs> so, um, there's a dance on Saturday. Would you like to go? I'm sorry, I can't get your friend's call of rape out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes two Sudafed. Oh. <laughs> if you ask me to do it, it's not actually rape. <laughs> I'm not asking. I'm only hinting at it. Look, we're nine years old. This baby. <laughs> Which she's always told. Is that her version of events? Is that what happened? In well, I don't remember it just like that because I had two suit events, so I probably would have. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes some of us have a hard time saying goodbye. <laughs> and so we do things to push people away. Wait a minute. Dude, none of us have to say goodbye. We just have to commit a crime that gets us at least an eight-year sentence. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. I don't know. Oh, that's the go-getter spirit I remember. <laughs> yes. Yes. We'll, 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 we'll do it. Let's all get arrested. Well, I already did. I'm, I'm going far. Let's all go. I'm just going to hang out here. Okay. You guys go, you know. Go, get out, get out, get out, go, go. You're still go, gonna go. get, you're still gonna get laid, right? Sorry. <laughs> How hard can it be, right? We'll see you on the inside. <laughs> Let's go and find some pies. Oh, we're gonna actually do it. <laughs> yeah! What do you mean we're not... What do you mean by that? Well, I started doubting it as soon as I said it. <laughs> well, where did that come from? I don't know. Maybe committing a crime and going to eight years, going to jail for eight years, maybe? Am I crazy? Am I crazy for, for, for second guessing that? You brought up the idea. Okay, no. systems for the seven bus. Okay, shit, can you? Yes, it is. We're having a conversation. Can you just <laughs> just see that we're having a conversation? Do you normally interrupt people when you, when you see them talking? I just had a question. Here it is. I have a question. <laughs> Look, I'm a little, I'm a little panicked because I feel like I've committed up myself to something I'm not really, I'm not really excited about anymore. What? I think if we were real friends, we would walk through it. We would go through it together. Because if this isn't for the seven bus, I have about three blocks that way that I have to walk. Seriously, I'm gonna punch you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I've never punched an older woman before, but I am a woman, and I feel like that's something that would be okay, relatively okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's kind of like a fight club. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for my friend's rudeness. We're looking for some wisdom, and you look old enough to have some. <laughs> Well, it's just that we have a friend who's going to prison. She's right inside the bar. We don't have much time to hash this out. Well. And we're trying to figure out how we can all still stay friends. So we want to go to prison You've got to cut out the bad seed. Huh? Get rid of her. She's nothing but trouble. Hmm. That's totally opposite of what we were trying to do. We were trying to not have to say goodbye to her. Well, what is she? I don't I don't work so that's right. That's right. That's right. We're specifically told not to tell me. Bessie swear. Alright, then I won't cry. 
She cut off the face of a dog and wore it around her house. <laughs>
What do you want me to do about it? I'm just a nurse. I'm here to take your orders, doctor. I just, I need your support here. I've never seen something oh, so bad. Oh, I know this drill. Okay, all right, nurse Dan, oh, nurse Dan. Yeah. Sorry, I learned it in prison. <laughs> <laughs> just need your support. I gotta go in there. I gotta talk this dog back to life. <laughs> well, <laughs> You, you can whisper? It's <laughs> just a metaphor. I just, I need, need support to go in there. I'm a vet. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Take your order. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be here, right here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm doing it. Jasper? It's Dr. Reed here. <laughs> Just fucking kill me! <laughs> kill me! Foot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys would leave me. 
You're the best, Barbara. Barbara, you're the best. Massage chain. <laughs> Switchies. Hey, don't cry. You look ugly when you cry. <laughs> well, if we massage this way, we'll never see yeah, how to see your face. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're going to cry, we just turn this way. Turn to the left. Aww. Feeling better? Do. <laughs> right, keep crying. <laughs> To not leave you lonely? <laughs> and we're also taking care of an overpopulation of street dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, welcome to Sector 5. We've heard about your talent for lowering the population of street dogs. We quit this years ago. Well, I'm afraid we're going to need you. Our country needs you now more than ever. <laughs> We've got a horrible menace on our hands. Was it, was it the dog that we didn't quite kill all the way? Does he come back? Yes. Does he still have half of a horse face? <laughs> Unfortunately, that entire staff was staffed by all staff. <laughs> Since then, he's become a menace. I give you this slide presentation of all that he's done. He's calling himself Cobra Command. <laughs> Yes. By looking at the one poor side and his other good eye. Yes. Look right over there. See in that next frame? We see him. He's taking a, a leak on the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> who does that? Someone who's very resentful about freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> I'll get to the point. To the chase. I'll chase to the point. <laughs> we want you to eliminate the threat. You did it before, you know, halfway we through. We didn't eliminate, we just altered. Oh. And we technically are one woman now. That's right. We'll miss you. We're so sorry. It was a Bad. dog face removal that went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She was my dog. <laughs> I won't cry, I'm a soldier! <laughs> really Chinese -y eyes. I want you to eliminate them. I'll give you all the money you need, all the forces, all the weapons. Here! Take the keys. We need a conference. Do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I use it. Do you want to go? <laughs> 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 we were hot ones before. Do it again. It's going to be south. <laughs>
uh, personnel. Yes, yes, yes. Bombers. Yes. Why would they choose two women with spoons? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all dog lovers. <laughs> oh, no. oh. We would never do it to a dog. Oh. But you ladies, you ladies, you ladies who like to go to bars, you ladies who like to go and hang out and get your nails done by a bunch of Korean women. <laughs> Are you gentlemen? In a matter of words? <laughs> yes. You ladies have something that I don't. What? You have the killer, killer instinct. <laughs> <laughs> We'll bring your dog back in both parts of its face. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, if you'll excuse me, I, I need to attend to a to business. I'm sorry about the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just miss it. You know? What's that? Yeah. I know, I just, just feel like a shadow of my former self. <laughs> hey, little girl. You feel the snowman? That's right. I'm feeling the snowman in the shape of a sandcastle. Hey, do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? Yep. <laughs> She's scary. <laughs> My parents thought I was making him up. But he's great. <laughs> oh, you're creepy. <laughs> Is your dog around the uh, corner here? I just have a couple questions I'd like to ask. Me? Or Rudy? Rudy, your dog. Is your dog around the corner? Yeah, he's around the corner. That'll be five bucks. <laughs> I charge people to see Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, sure. Sure. Sure, we all have things that we have to overcome. But in the end, doesn't it matter most that we know what love, charity, and fidelity means? <laughs> like, what does fidelity mean? <laughs> and you know what it means? It means that we're friends till the end. <laughs> That chop off dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends that go to jail places. <laughs> we're friends that hires flamboyant cats. <laughs> well, maybe just me. <laughs> no, we're friends as good as friends. Me, we're friends.